Christmas season reviews start here, baby. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another review, but we are now officially starting the Christmas season reviews. Man, I kind of I kind of wanted to get back into the holiday season reviews. Ever since I finished doing the Halloween season reviews back in October, I'm like, oh, god damn, I gotta I got do it. And I planned the Christmas reviews just about a couple days after, just, just about the same night. So, there you go. I'm excited to get started. And, yep, 15 reviews. And tonight, I'm going to be doing a post. Uh, either By the time this video comes out, if it comes out late, if it comes out early, I'll have a post up saying... Which 16th Christmas movie would you guys like me to review? I will definitely get that up. Um, yes, and so, very excited this, very excited to do this. I have been wanting to get back into the Christmas season for a while, so, and getting to talk about some movies with, with all you guys, with all you good folks, is gonna be a dream come true. So, yeah, let's get started, and here we are with the very first. Christmas season review of 2023. So, yeah. And also, just to be clear, yes, there are more, a little bit more lights. We are not finished. Not, not finished decorating. Not quite yet um, out, out, out there. And, of course, obviously, like I said, there's going to be more lights right here. But we are making some progress. So, yeah. All right, Christmas time. First review and... For today's review, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite Christmas movies and one of my favorite movies, and that being 2003's Elf. Yes, the uh, classic Christmas movie that everyone knows and loves. Um, so basically, yeah, I want to talk about this movie because it means so much to me. It always gets me into the Christmas spirit. It never fails to get me in the Christmas spirit. If I need some Christmas spirit and to watch a movie, I watch Elf. Always works. It always works for me. I don't know how they do it. It always gets me in the Christmas spirit. It, this is a movie you definitely need to watch in Christmas time or Christmas Day or anything Christmas related because this movie, this movie right here, it captures everything perfectly of what you want in a Christmas. It's got, it's got comedy. It's got magic. It's got heart. It's got emotion. It's got a story. It's got everything you would want. Well, now, now I'm just getting into the full review. Um, so, this movie stars Will Ferrell, Zoe Deschanel, uh, Ed Asner, James Caan, uh, Bob Newhart, Peter Dinklage, Daniel Tay. The uh, cast goes on. And this movie is written and directed by John Favreau. The guy, yes, we all know him for making the live-action remake. Not the Jungle Book, but the other one he made. When I thought the, the line came 2019. <laughs> I'm not, uh, people know me already. I, I don't know if I've already explained it on this channel or not. I'm not the biggest fan of that movie. Uh, not, not me particularly. I'm not a fan of that movie. Um, but I do love the Jungle Book. I love Iron Man. I love, love this guy's filmography. And Elf, to me, is his best work. And basically, okay, let's just get into the plot. The plot of this movie is basically Buddy the Elf, he grew up in the North Pole, and he thought that he was an elf, and that he should build toys, but he's not quite as good as the others, because he only made 85, 85, like, um, what are those things called, the little, um, uh, things you draw in, um, uh, um, I forgot what it's called, I'll put the name right here, um, but, but yeah, he made only 85 of those, while the rest of the elves, they made like thousands and thousands and thousands of millions and all these fucking, maybe billions, and they made so much, and he's only made 85. And, um, yeah, he's kind of a little different than the others. So basically, when he discovers a human, he goes to the, uh, the South Pole, the human land, and basically, he, well, as you all know, he tries to find his father and his whole family and find his right place in life. So, yeah, basically, let's just get into the positives. The straight-up performances of this movie 
are so fucking good. Will Ferrell is outstanding in this role. Yes, he is so funny, so hilarious. His one-liners are so perfect. Because, yes, this might seem like a movie just like, oh, uh, just some man-child just acting around, being a dumb, um, has, being so weird, just around New York. Yeah, you could say that, but I, with this movie, it actually works, and it actually makes sense. Because he grew up in the North Pole, and so... And the North Pole, like, you're talking to eat a lot of candy, be a lot crazy, be a lot hyper. Because the North Pole's a lot different in his world. Especially since he was raised by Papa Elf. So, and Papa Elf taught him different things, you know. Because he always thought he was an elf. And elves tend to be a lot more hyper. So, <laughs> when you see him do funny things, his elf things in front of, the, in front of other humans, it's, like, so funny. Because he doesn't understand it. Like, he doesn't understand what an escalator is, or what, like, um, spray is, or an elevator, or, like, work. Like, he doesn't understand any of that, because he never grew up knowing any of that. He always grew up learning how to build toys, and, you know, how to play in the snow. It's like, that's all his life. So, with this movie, the comedy, it actually works, and it doesn't feel annoying. It feels right, it earns it, has the right moments, and it doesn't shine too much. And this movie, it also still has emotional moments, too. Then they don't have to ruin it with a joke. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of jokes in this movie. There is a lot of jokes. But the jokes are so funny, and they, and they work right for this kind of movie. And the third act, it really, yeah, it really hits hard. and really starts to get more into its beautiful message. And there's... There is a beautiful message in this movie that I will get into later. Um, yeah, but Will Ferrell, he is outstanding, and he was born to play this role. He is a fantastic job. does a fantastic job. When I was uh, what, growing up, I always picture, whenever I picture Will Ferrell, whenever I see Will Ferrell, I, it's hard not to see Buddy the Elf, because he just, he's just so perfect and he captures that role so well that it's just like... This is Will Ferrell's best performance. I'm saying that right there. Maybe there's another movie where Will Ferrell's better that I haven't seen. Let me know in the chat if there's any you want to recommend to me. I don't know. But this, to me, this, to me, is Will Ferrell's best performance. Uh, the rest of the cast is great. Uh, Zoe Deschanel is great as the love interest. Um, James Caan is great as uh, Walter Hobbs. Um, the whole cast gives a great, great supporting roles. But... Will Ferrell is the best actor. He just, he never gives up. He's just like, he's having a, you can tell, he's having a blast with the role. He's just having the funnest time of his life. And I can really understand, if I was playing that role, I would be having so much fun playing Buddy the Elf. But come on, let's be honest. Will Ferrell is Buddy the Elf, and he makes that character work so fucking well. So, yeah. Um, uh, the direction's great. John Favreau's direction in this movie is great. His writing is great. And John Favreau, yes, he does have a little cameo appearance in this movie um, as the, the doctor. Yep. He plays as the doctor. Um, the music, of course, it's, it's charming. This movie is just such a charming joy, and it's just such a delight. And this movie, again, it has so much Christmas magic to it. It has so much Christmas magic. It's so much heart. And what I really love about, like, the third act, as I was saying earlier, is that it has a beautiful message, you know, at the end, when, like, they all sing together, and they're all spreading Christmas joy. That's such a good message, you know, for anyone, anyone to watch, and anyone to get in the Christmas mood, and you know what? Yeah, I really gotta respect that. Really gotta respect that. Uh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot Ed, As Ed Asner is great. Rest in peace, Ed Asner, and also rest in peace, James Caan. Uh... They were such terrific actors, they didn't deserve to die. Um, yeah, Ed Asner's great as Santa Claus. He really, he just shines, not shines the, that character, and he really fits it so well. And um, I really enjoyed him. I also enjoyed Bob, <laughs> and I also really enjoyed Bob Newhart in the, in the role as well. I thought he was, he was great. He was terrific. Um, yeah, I enjoyed all the characters, and just... Yeah, um, also just the fucking quotable one-liners in this movie, man. Like, this movie, how can you not love the quotable one-liners? Like, come on, you got, like, I like to whisper, too. 
You sit on a throne of lies. What's a Christmas cram? I want one. Um, what else? What else we got? Uh, bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Thanks, Mr. Narwhal. Or, or, Narwhal. Uh, <laughs> um, shit, what else is there? What else is there? There's, uh, I'm singing. I'm in a store and I'm singing. I'm in a store and I'm singing. And then there's, um, and there's also, uh, shit, um, uh, why are you smiling? I, I just like to smile. Smile is my favorite. So like, pretty much there you go. You got so many quotable lines in this movie. It is just hilarious. It is hilarious. I, they never stop making me laugh. Never stop making me laugh. I love it. I love every second of it. Just all the quotable one-liners. It's just so fucking funny and so fucking hilarious that it's just, how the fuck could you not love it? Like, this is a movie I can't, I can't understand how anyone couldn't love. Cause, yeah, it just, it fit, there's so much good writing and so much good humor in this movie that it's just, it's just such an impossible movie to hate. Cause there's just so much joy and so much magic and it's got such a beautiful message, it's got such good humor and it's, you know, it's, it's all, all around just a terrific movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And, and yes, this movie, it was inspired by Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer a lot, and you can definitely tell with the elf, similar, similar elf costumes, the similar looking of the North Pole, and similar uh, pieces, bits, mainly the North Pole. Um, but yeah, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, another, another classic animated Christmas film that, again, how could you not love? It's of course, of course it's a classic. Um, yeah. So as I was saying, it's like, this movie is a masterpiece. I said it, it is a masterpiece. Um, it is one of the best Christmas movies since, like, Home Alone and It's a Wonderful Life. It is that good. And Die Hard and The Ref. Yes, Die Hard, I do consider a Christmas movie. Yes, I do. Uh, and The Ref, another underrated one. Um, the classic How the Grinch Show Christmas, Christmas Vacation. All the classic Christmas movies that everyone knows and loves. But this is up there with the best ones. And, yeah. And that's why I have to give Elf an 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. I adore this movie. It means so much to me. I adore it with all my heart. And I don't understand how anyone could not love it. It's not, it's surprisingly not annoying. It's not too crazy. It's just such a fun, cheerful delight that just, it's such a good feel-good movie. Whenever I, I, this is like my ultimate feel-good kind of Christmas movie, you know, this, Home Alone, It's One of Life, all, all, all the ultimate ones. And yeah, this movie's incredible. I love it. I love every second of it. So, there you go. That will wrap it up today for my first review of the Christmas season. I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below. Do you, do you love this movie? Do you not love it? That's okay. Just opinions. This is just my personal opinion. I love this movie, but I want to hear your guys' opinions on the movie. So let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, stay, as usual, stay tuned for more reviews, more rankings, more top 10 lists that I got planned. I got 14 more Christmas reviews to go with actually one spare Christmas review that I will be making a poll by the time that, that poll might come out, whether this review is out, or, or maybe it'll come out after this review is out. We will see by then. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And Merry Christmas from Hades, Lord. Santa! Oh my god! I know him! I know him! I know him! <laughs> see y'all next time.